Welcome back. It's Melanie of She Shit Scrapper. So today I am back with a one-page layout using the new Where To Next collection from Vicki Booten. When I bought this collection, I noticed a hot dog sticker and thought, man, I'm never going to use this. However, I then remembered that in February I took a girls trip to Florida to watch a college softball tournament and my sister and I had hot dogs at the ballpark and so I figured you know what I am going to use as many hot dogs on this layout as I can um, to use those up because I don't know when I'll use those again. So I have this idea for the layout I am doing using the stars kind of at an angle here you can see um, I all I did was kind of measure in it looks like six inches measure down six inches and then again on the bottom measure over six inches and then you could see that I cut it at the angle um, using my paper cutter um, so then I decided you know what I don't really like how that looks just on the white um, and so instead I decided that I would use this yellow paper, um, and try to kind of add another layer, uh, in between the star paper and the white background paper. Um, you can see that I'm kind of playing around with the layout, kind of trying to figure out how to maneuver, I guess, the paper to figure out how to get the angle just right again. So cutting it in a strip did just didn't work um, the way I thought it would. And then I would have had kind of an overlap in that paper. So instead, I just cut a smaller, um, I guess a wider strip than the original one. And then did the same thing with um, the diagonal going down to six, um, six inches. And really like the way that that looks a lot better than just the star paper on the white. Um, that hot dog tag actually came from a Simple Stories collection. But again, I decided I am going to load this layout up with hot dogs and <laughs> use them all um, if I could. I did kind of combine, I guess, that softball, Simple Stories, Simple Pages. Um, I really liked how it was like the seam of the softball. I'm going to include that on this layout and maybe not much more out of that. Um, I had actually gotten this softball one before I went to the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo and then was pleasantly surprised that they had them again. And so I was able to get a second one because I took a bunch of pictures at this tournament. Um, I am a huge college softball fan and so... I don't know. I knew that there was this tournament in Florida in February and figure why not um, kind of go to that um, and enjoy the game. So that's what my friend and I met my sister down there and that's what we did. So I again decided I wanted something else on the white. Um, I kind of wish that maybe I would have made had the star paper go more than the six inches over. Um, but it still works with the um, the ink. So I just blended it out and then added some water on top and then rolled the uh, paper towel over top of it. And that made it so um, you could see some of the water specks right on the layout. I am going to use kind of this angle here for my title and I decided to use lots of different fonts and different sizes for my title. Um, I am going to use the font or the alpha from the project pad for the where to next collection for um, this part of it and my title is going to be take me out to the ball game. Um, so ball game took up a lot more space than I thought it would. And so I kind of had to come up with a way to kind of get, take me out to the, on this one line. They are smaller fonts, so that definitely helped. Um, but what I decided to do was kind of stagger them. So, um, take and then me and then out will be up, um, and just kind of stagger them that way. I had higher hopes for this or this layout, I guess, when I started it and when I had the idea for this layout. But again, I am realizing it is time to give myself grace. Um, I've mentioned it in quite a few videos this month already, but 
not everything needs to be perfect. Um, really, I don't need to make a perfect layout to inspire and somebody. Um, somebody might look at this and absolutely love it. So if that is the case, then I've done kind of what I set out to do. Um, so I'm giving myself grace and I still think it is a super fun layout um, with all the hot dogs and whatnot. Uh, I just... Again, I kind of struggle with, you know, I wanted to include the hot dogs, but then what else do I include with these embellishments? So, or these, uh, yeah, embellishment clusters. So that's kind of where I struggled, I guess. So I did double back my photo there. Um, and then you can see that I really want to use that seam from that softball pack. I think it's just, it brings in that yellow and I just think it also brings in the softball element. Um, you know, my titles take me out to the ball game, but it definitely brings in that softball element. I had this um, branding strip, that Black Star um, branding strip, and just decided to add that to the far right. That kind of helps close off the layout, I guess. It doesn't, I don't know, it, I guess it gives it kind of like a stopping point. Um, so I just wanted to include that. I am going to pop my fo photo up on some foam tape and then get to kind of placing down my um, embellishments. So I really liked that hot dog tag. Um, and then I'm going to kind of do a visual triangle with the rest of the embellishments. I bought the large chipboard pieces. Um, quite honestly, they are quite thick and quite a lot bigger than anything I kind of have used in the past. That is one thing that I probably will not get in the future. Um, I just actually got the rest of this collection. I've been waiting on it. Um, it's been back ordered from a cherry on top, like the papery um, ephemera bits. And so we'll see if I like those. Um, but these are the chipboard. Those stars are part of the chipboard. And I'm going to kind of get them out. And the titles are just so large. Like, I don't know. I've seen people use the large titles and the way that they use them. It turns out really good. Uh, but you can see just how how much bigger they are than like the other pieces, I guess. So I did kind of struggle maybe using those. Um, I did want to use up some of them because they are kind of generic. They're not so specific like the other stickers and the other ephemera. And so I wanted to use some of those up. Um, there is this piece here that I'm going to journal on a little bit. I didn't like how there was a gap between the hot dog and the bottom. So I did um, move that tag down a little bit. Uh, and then I used a uh, wood button from one of the Sun... I think it's Sun Kissed by Coco Vanilla. I used that instead of some twine. The, it had a star on it and the colors matched perfectly. So I figured I would try to use that up. I've definitely been buying new collections, but really trying to use up my stash as well and kind of mix those in as we go. So there's that little hot dog. Um, there are more hot dogs because I have the sticker book and the sticker sheet and all that fun stuff. So um, the top little sticker says yum and I thought that was really fun. So then I put another hot dog on a star at the top. Um, so you can kind of see, I guess, if you... I guess I was including the tag with the visual triangle. So maybe it's not so much a visual triangle. Um, but I feel like the way that I embellish maybe, I don't know, helps kind of draw across the page. Obviously, the title is quite large and kind of takes up the majority of it. Um, but then I just, I did kind of keep the other clusters more on the simple side. Um, I wanted to kind of play off the star paper and so I did use some of those star chipboard pieces. Um, so I added another smaller one at the top and then um, I'm going to end up using some of the other stars from the uh, sticker book and add some more down at the bottom. One thing which unfortunately the picture or the video isn't close up of the picture, but after I took this picture, there is something neat my sister found, like pointed out. So we were sitting in the outfield and instead of like a regular fence, it was kind of like a mesh fence with the St. Pete Clearwater um, like logo on it. And it reflected off my sunglasses. So my sunglasses actually say St. Pete Clearwater. I don't know if it says like the softball invitational. I can't remember right off the bat. But I thought that was really neat that she pointed that out. And that 
excuse me, I don't know, it just adds to the picture, I guess. Um, so you can see I'm just really struggling with what to use with my embellishments here. Um, again, I have quite a bit of the collection. I think I might have bought all of the extra embellishments. And sometimes when I do that, I do struggle more so than when I have a limited amount of embellishments. So I'm kind of just adding to that little hot dog on that journaling card there. Um, just adding a couple of little pieces. And then eventually I am going to add some of the larger stars underneath of that um, journaling tag. That must be up on some foam tape. Um, the photo is. So for that to kind of lay flush, it had to kind of be popped up. So I am going to add two stars right here underneath that journaling spot. Um, but yeah, again, just kind of kept the embellishments more on the simple side because I do have that longer title. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I will link this collection down below if you are interested. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys.